Hey there, aliens, Prometheus, and Giger fans. How's it going? This is Wesatron. Today we're going to be taking a look at the engineer in the chair suit from the Prometheus film by Ridley Scott. Um, if you're an aliens fan, you've probably recognized this uh, design going way back, and uh, it's pretty awesome. I gotta say to finally have him in three dimensions. Um, standard packaging that we've been seeing before from uh, NECA in terms of the clamshell. Uh, it's pretty much what we always see. Uh, it just says Prometheus there at the top. Uh, there's some artwork from the back. From It looks like the um, the wall in which all of the uh, engineers were kind of leaned up against. I don't know if everybody's seen the movie at this point, so I'm going to try not to say too much if I can help it. Um, back of the package, we've got another shot of the engineer. A little description of the movie, if I can get it in there. If anybody wants to see that, just pause it and check it out. And there's some scenes from the movie up here, which I don't think are very spoilerish or anything. So, uh, yeah, pretty standard for NECA in terms of the packaging. Nothing outstanding or special, but uh, you know, cool enough. Uh, real quick, let's take a look at the uh, credits there. So, if anybody wants to know who built their figure, who designed it, all that stuff, there you go. So uh, it's funny they've actually got a Wayland Corp uh, <laughs> logo there on the bottom. That's good. Uh, so that's it. Let's get this guy out of package and see how he holds up. And we're back with the chair engineer out of packaging and just let's get this out of the way. Holy crap, this figure is huge. He is enormous. Like, just appropriately so, but oh my gosh. Like, let's just get head crab uh, Kato in here real quick. You can see this dude just towers over him. Just, wow. <laughs> um... Let's straighten up his articulation here real quick, and I'll try and stand him up straight. So you can really get a good look at just how massive this guy is. Just absolutely huge. And we'll, we'll take off head crab just so you guys can see for a second. I guess a good head and a half, two heads taller than a standard 7-inch figure. Pretty impressive. Pretty awesome. I am glad to see how big this guy is. That is awesome. Um... And I'll start out primarily by saying NECA is incredibly smart. They know um, that this guy is going to do well because you can tell by the engineering that went into this figure. They didn't just make a figure that was going to work. They made a figure that you're going to want. Um, this isn't a figure that's designed just to snatch the people who are into the movie. This is a figure designed to get um, fans of the entire... Uh, Giger um, world or the alien world whatever you want to call it um, the the whole Scott universe I don't know but uh, yeah this figure is great um, just flat out if you got the money go get them right now um, 20 bucks or less is a steal 25 bucks is probably a good deal get this figure get him now um, amazing just let's start I guess start with the details, wow. Um, this guy, look at, just in HD, you, you, you can probably see this much better. I hope everybody's watching this in HD. But just all the little pock marks and striations and cracks and everything all over this thing. Every single bit of it is covered in detail. And it's got this black metallic paint and then this like silver metallic paint wash over it. Uh, or a dry brush or something. It's just incredible looking. It reflects light perfectly. It's got that wet appearance that it always had. It just looks amazing. Just absolutely incredible. The um, <clears throat> the whole thing was designed to, to hide the articulation. I mean, just looking at this guy, you can't easily pick out all the points of articulation. I mean, if you start looking for them, you're going to find, you know, the knee bends and things like that. But this thing is designed to look like a statue, no matter how you have it posed. It's incredible. Um, this whole midsection here, this is all rubber. It's designed to hide the articulation for when you move the head back and forth, so that that uh, snout stays in place. It's designed to hold that, as well as cover up the midsection ball joint. The, uh, the hips are rubberized to a degree. They've got these hoses and things to them that will move along, but uh, they're designed to cover up these ball joints here, um, which maybe not totally rubberized, but at least designed to cover the ball joints. The, um, there's 
ball joints in the shoulders, but you can't actually see them because they're covered up on the inside by this overlay of plastic here. So there's a great uh, swivel hinge joint there, but you can't see it. It's amazing. This figure is just gorgeous. Um, I guess we should just go ahead and start talking about articulation. I mean, just but every chance you get to see him up close, please just look at all the detail that you can find on this guy. He is absolutely incredible. Just cannot recommend this guy enough. Um, ball jointed head, great side to side, or a tilt action I mean. Um, he will turn uh, left and right, but he does have these cables uh, on the back of his head, so be careful with those. Um, you will want to make sure that you don't tear those in any way. So um, it's easier to turn right than it would be to turn left. When you turn left, they start to get a little taut. So just be careful with that. Um, as far as down, about like that. Up, about like that. So pretty good, pretty good uh, rotation in the head there. Um, the swivel hinge shoulders go out to the sides, about like that. Got swivels at the bicep. Uh, swivel hinge elbows that uh, hinge here and the swivel is on the side of the forearm so the forearm rotates on its own which is great because it kind of lines up in such a way there's like a cup here that you can fit that into if you want it to be perfect but if you want to cover up that joint completely you can just turn it a little bit and it'll cover it up perfectly I mean like and you can just kind of cover it a little bit if you want to just adjustments that's what's great about this figure is just these minor adjustments you can make to make him look like a statue no matter what he's uh, posed like the hands are open and they are in these amazing ball jointed wrists these are some of the best ball jointed wrists I have seen in a long time I mean they're just incredible um, I cannot just stress how great the motion is on those wrists that is fantastic ball jointed midsection so forward quite far back quite far side to side very very good range of motion and of course the swivel as well but you don't want to swivel it too much because the hips are connected by tubes to this rubber overlay in the back now we've got swivel hinge swivel uh, hips which are at an angle so they might be a little difficult to pose but they're not that bad um, so you'll swivel like that and then hinge up and then the whole leg armor piece kind of swivels around it so that you can still maintain that forward look of it. We've got swivel hinge uh, knees here. Not a perfect 90 degrees, but pretty darn good. Um, he's not going to be in super deep poses, um, but, you know, more than adequate. And, of course, the swivel. And then, again, we've got these great NECA uh, ball-jointed uh, ankles, which go forward about that much. Back a little bit, not a ton, and then side to side, pretty great. Um, pretty much this guy, as far as articulation, has far more than he would ever need, but uh, plenty, plenty to just look wonderful no matter how you decide to pose him on your shelf. Uh, this guy is outstanding, really like this. And uh, just a quick treat for all you Aliens fans, <clears throat> I've got my uh, two-pack Alien here so that you can see next to him, height-wise, what you're dealing with. I'm going to pull back just a little bit so you guys can see that a little better. So you can see the alien is still taller than him, but much more lithe. He's got a much more uh, brickish, broad uh, design to him, but together these guys look pretty incredible, i got to say. Uh, this is the first time I've really held them up next to each other, and wow, they just look great together. Just that classic Giger look. I love it. Um, yeah, that's. there's nothing more I can say about this guy. Really, there's not. Um, you just absolutely have to pick this up. If you are an action figure fan, you need to pick it up to see what kind of neat things that they did to design this guy. Um, if you're an Aliens fan, pick it up because he's the uh, the chair engineer. If you're a Prometheus fan, pick it up because he's uh, you know the new race, um, if you want to consider it that. Um, just in general, if you're a horror fan, pick it up because it's Giger and he looks amazing. Just get this figure, no matter what. This is the one figure you need to be getting this fall season. Um, <clears throat> unless you're just a huge fan of everything else coming out, you should really try and get this figure in collection. He, he just looks amazing. This is everything you want out of an action figure. Um, I'm sure some people will come back and try to rebut me on that, and that's totally cool, but... I am just really thrilled to see a figure that's got this much planning and this much love put into him. This was a great job on the part of NECA, and I cannot recommend the figure enough. Um, I got him for uh, the two-pack, actually. Uh, well, it wasn't two-pack, but you get both figures in the way. From Corner Store Comics for, I believe, thirty two ninety nine, which is, what is that, like uh, sixteen fifty a figure, I think? 
um, which is amazing. Like you, I would easily pay twenty five dollars for this guy. He is just great. So um, yeah, if you get the opportunity, pick him up. Don't wait. I just saw these after my package came in. Like the very next day, I saw them in Toys R Us. So like yesterday, um, and they they're just really impressive. Pick it up if you get the chance. And that's it, guys. Um, visit uh, infinitehollywood.com if you get the opportunity. Uh, it is 31 days of Halloween, so um, if you're in a, a spooky feeling, spooky way, definitely check out the website. He's doing some great things over there. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, buy this figure. Number one. Buy it. Thanks, guys, a lot. really appreciate the comments and the new subscriptions. You guys are the best. Um, keep me updated. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know uh, what you think of the reviews of the toys. I love you guys. Thanks. Holla.